All right, let's look at how to read and write data from a file. So I'm going to create a new project. And this project I'm going to create as a Windows form app. And I'm going to call this my contact list. So I'm going to create that. So for my contact list, I'm going to have a couple of different pieces on the page. I want to have a maybe a list box. And that can just list my contacts. And I am going to add a text box and maybe some labels. So let's get two text boxes. And a button and some labels. So let's go to the button right here. And then the labels. All right. So now I have these pieces. I'm going to label these things. So this list box is going to list all of my contacts. And I'm going to make it a nice read only list box. And let's go ahead and name the list box. So this list box is going to be called my LST contact. So that's my contact list. And then I'm going to have the Let's see. Oh, we don't need to worry about that. I'll go ahead and just set the labels over here. This label is going to be for new contacts. I'm going to change the text for this one to be name. And this label right here, I'm going to change it to be, let's do phone numbers. Obviously you can do a lot more, but We'll just keep these simple. And so what I'm going to do is have people enter new names, new phone numbers, and then we will add them to our list and we can save them to files. So this one's going to be txt name. And this new one I'm going to have as txt phone. And I have this button. Oops. Let's go ahead and up here, take the button, drag it over. And this button is going to be my add button. It's going to be add contact. All right. So now we've got this contact list right here and displayed. Um, we can make it a little bigger so it looks a little nicer, lines up. And we can change the shape of this entire window so it's a little smaller and it looks much better. We go ahead and change the form text so it would be our contact list. All right. So now we have these things in place. Um, we're going to go ahead and some stuff in the contact list or try to generate some stuff. So I'm going to control shift a for add a class and I want to have a contact class. So the contact and this contact class will have um, getters and setters for a name and a phone number. So we public class and I have string oh, I say public string name and I've got a get and a set and I've got a public string phone and I have a get and a set now that I have my contact created I'm going to do control shift a and I'm going to create my contact list contact we able to make a contact database so contact db class this is also going to be a public class public we'll make this one static and then this public static class is going to have a couple of different pieces in it inside of it i'm going to have a private static everything in this class has to be static basically and it's going to be a list of type contact 
and I'll call this my uh, contacts. I'm going to make this a, a new list of type contact. And there we go. So now that's created. Now I want to have a way to get the list so I can display it all. So I have a public static list contact. So it's, it returns a list contact and it's going to be called get list. And my get list will just return a list of the contacts. So return contacts. Then I want to have a way to add contacts to my list. So I'll do a public static uh, void. So I need to return anything. Add contact. And we will have them add a name, name, and a phone number. And the way it does this is it creates the contact object. And then it populates that contact object. So C dot name equals the name. And C dot phone equals the phone. And then it will go ahead and put that into my list. So contacts, contacts, add, C. All right, now that I have this add contact in place, I can go ahead and add contacts. So I'll back, go back over to the form. And if you double click on this add contact, you can see right here, I can now take the information from the contact um, name and phone number and add them to the contacts. So I will get my name and that will be from the txt name. And it'll be the text inside of that. And my string phone will become equal to the txt phone. And the text there. And then I'm going to use my contact db add contacts method and pass it the name and the phone number. At this point, it's good to also create something that will refresh and rebuild my page. So I have a private void, and this is just refresh. And what this will do is it will just um, clean out this contact list and then repopulate it. So I'll go ahead and do that first. So I go to my LST contact and I will clear it. Clear, actually it's items and clear it. So there the contact list is cleared and then I want to get my contacts. And so I, Go ahead and generate a list of type contact called contacts. And I'm going to get my contact database list right here. And then I want to go over that list and fill in the contacts. So I will do a for each. C or contact C in contacts. And for each one, I want to add it to my list contact items. So LST contact items add. And then I'm going to get my 
contact C dot name plus maybe a space and then C dot phone. All right. So every time I refresh, it's going to repopulate the list here. So what I do after I add this contact, I want to then refresh my list. Refresh. Also, uh, when I first initialize this form, double click in here, and that's when I first load the form, I also want to refresh. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and run this to make sure that it runs. And I can see right here a list of my contacts. So I can say Alice and her phone number is 3214567. And I'll add contact and it shows up. And then Bob, his phone number is 567-4356. And now he's in my contact list. So that's how you do the basic adding to the contact list. Now I want to be able to save it. So I want to read and write to files. So if we go back to the uh, contact database, now I've got this opportunity to write a save function. So I'll do a public static. And this one is going to be a void also. And I'm going to be a save save list maybe and it doesn't do much here it just goes and just passes nothing and it will try to now save this data so I'm going to do a try statement because it's always possible that something will crash and I'll do a catch statement afterwards and I don't really care what happens in the catch so I'll just do a catch statement so for my save list, I want to have a stream writer. And a stream writer allows me to write files. I'll call it writer equals new stream writer. And I'm going to have this be contacts.txt. All right. At this point, it doesn't know what a stream writer is. So I can click on it and or we're not going to move down to the show potential fixes and add in the using the system IO. So I want that in there. Then I want to do a for each statement for each and go over each one of my contacts. So contact C in it's called contacts here. Contacts. I want to write out the contact to this file. So I'll do writer, write a line, and I'm going to pass it the name and the phone number. So I'll do c.name, and then I want to have some kind of delimiter, so I'll do a pipe here. And then I'll do a plus c.phone. So I'll write that out there. And once all of them have been written, I will want to close the writer. So writer close. All right. So now I have the save function written. The next thing to do is write the read function so I can read in my list. So I'll do public static void read. Maybe load list. Load list. There we go. And once again, there is always the option that will crash. I'll do a try statement. So try. And I'm going to catch nothing. Or catch everything and do nothing. Really, you should do more. But when I first read it, it won't be there anyway. And now I want to clear the list before I even read in new contacts. So I don't want to have extra contacts. So I'll do contacts. And then clear. Next, I'll open my stream reader, 
which is like the stream writer, but just it's the reader. It's a new stream reader. And I'm going to be opening up the contact, same file, .txt. All right, once the file is open, I want to read the first line in and get that with the reader read line command. And then I do a while loop. So while this line is not equal to null, I want to keep reading in lines. And each line I'm going to break apart, split it up into pieces. So I'll do a string array and it's going to be called parts and it will read in the line or they take the line and split it on the delimiter I used earlier, which is the pipe character. All right. So now this is taken care of. I want to then take this information that I've split apart and put it into a new person. So I can actually, um, I have this function earlier. So add contact, I'm going to use this add contact function right here. So add contact and I'm going to pass it parts zero, which is the name and parts one, which should be the phone number. And after that, I can just kind of read the next line. And so the while loop can keep going. So line equals reader read line. And then if it crashes, it, you know, when it's done, it'll finish up and exit the while loop. And then I can close the reader once it is done. All right. So now I've got my, my save function and I've got my load function. So save list and load list. And I want to load the list initially before anything else really happens because it could have something important and I want to make sure I actually have context when I start. So in this thing over here, when I first load the page, I load this list. So what I want to do is actually as part of the refresh process, I want to load the list. So I will take this and do my contact database and I will do a load right here. And every time I add a contact, I want to save it. So I'll do a contact database save list. So it saves it every time I add a new contact. And then every time after that, it loads the list and refreshes it. So at this point, I think I am done with everything. So I can go ahead and run the program and see what happens. So bring it over here and I go ahead and add somebody. So I got Alice and her phone number is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And then I add in Bob and his phone number is something else. All right. Now I close this and see if they are still there when I load it again, go ahead and start it up and I bring it over and they are once again, then so I can add in another person, Eve, and their phone number is something else and add contact. So there you can see how to load from files, how to save back to files, how to keep a local database and how to manage your list and work with buttons. So there you go.